Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do some uh, things here. Look at her, baby. I'm sure you guys saw my uh, Instagram. She has arrived in all her sticker outlined, sticker glue, paint faded, rusty, dog hair filled, panel fall, panels falling out, glory. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to take you guys on this journey with me. And we are going to try to discover what exactly did this guy do to this thing. And if this engine is salvageable. So. I can tell you right now. This guy has done a lot to this car. Sorry guys. I just ate dinner. Which I've been starving all day. And it's like 8 o'clock at night. The guy arrived at like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. Didn't start until like 7 a.m. Which he said he'd start at 6. But it's whatever. And it was such a pain to get this thing out of his 36 foot enclosed trailer. Oh. I was tearing some stuff up. So first it was stuck in gear. So I got unstuck. It was just, I think it was just in gear for a long time. Cause now I, I like hooked my shift knob up to it and it, it seems fine. So transmission seems fine. Um, I'm sure you guys saw uh, my pictures of the rear diff which we'll get to in a minute. That thing is I have a leak in like crazy. Like has a busted seal or something. Or is blown. And I hope it's just a busted seal. So I think what we're going to do today, like I said, we are going to walk around this engine bay, walk around the car, get a list of what is actually done to this car. Um... And then we'll start doing some stuff. We'll start, I'll jack her up so I can get under her and see if I can see anything wrong, like transmissions and bottom engine headers wise. Um, there's no turbo or downpipe. There's a cat back, but I do not think it's salvageable. So we'll get obviously no hood. So I might buy a hood off uh, eBay. Or I just drop, you know, $1,300 on a carbon fiber hood. <laughs> or not. Anyway, uh, let me get this on a tripod and we'll start going through this engine bay. Alright guys, let's get started. Um, so yeah, I was poking around a little bit when I first got here. Um, it's cool in here. It's like straight water. But then I uncapped this and it's like green, so drain that I'm, the battery is dead so i'm gonna need a new battery or the recharge that um trying to read yeah um i was going through all the fuses later um but yeah let's jump straight into it so straight away i see a grim speed boost controller um i see cob it's probably a 3.5 um, map sensor, 3.5 bar map sensor. It has TGV deletes with um, aftermarket fuel rails and fuel lines and injectors. Uh, pull that and see what these all these are. Um, it has aeromotive. Uh, FPR with the fuel gauge, the fuel pressure gauge. Um, it has a, the he has custom fuel lines going back to the this 
fuel pump hangers. Um, and he has a back there. Here, let me see if I can try to show you guys. All right. So we're, the seat was off when the car uh, when the car came, and then this was like off. So. down for you guys i'm so sorry there we go yeah as you can see or not see there it is all right so again, this is camera stuff um it's a radio uh, hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side Chase and leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on slotted brake discs so i gotta see what brake pads are in there but i probably won't be able to tell oh he has these old ones i used to have on mine just gonna take them off um but yeah i'm just gonna have to like get the rest off of those and then they'll be gucci but i'm excited that those got those brakes in there um cool we got the sti bad stuff everywhere I'm super excited to finally, finally, finally have an STI and not be building one. Um, there is a problem. So, 
What are you looking at? There you go. This runs into the fender. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out if the fender is like too far forward or if like the door hinge is too far or if the fender's too far back or if the door hinge is like too far forward. Um, I don't know. So, I mean, I, I took that, the fender cap off because it was just popping out. I had this like blue wrap film on it. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram and left all the sticky junk on it. All the sticky crap. So I gotta get a crap ton of goo gone. Huh, and try to get all this stuff off. But this wing, I think it sticks out a lot more than the, the WRX, 2008 WRX. Um, but yeah, there's obviously paint fade there, but I'm not worried about that at all. Um, because I'm going big wing. So yeah. Two things I'm going to try to purchase for Black Friday is a WRX Daily, which I don't think they're having sales, but WRX Daily, uh, if they're not having sales, I'm not going to do it. But definitely JD and Muscles having some sales going on, so I'll try and get that big wing. We're bad guys, sorry about that. I really need a camera. Really, really, really would like a uh, Panasonic Lumix, like G100 or like a GH6 would be awesome. GH5 or even GH80, G85 would be awesome. But all really expensive. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, he has those, uh, oh, what are those things you put on the TGV, new, I think they're like new, not pneumatic, spacers, or something like that, some spacers you put on the TGV, he has those, um, obviously, he has one of these fancy caps, in there, holy shit, um, Yeah, it came with uh, the stock uh, T-Mic, but I took that off and I took these hoses off. I'm pretty sure he had a AOS right here because his, his harness is shoved down in there, so that's what you normally do. Um, so I'm going to have to get AOS for this thing, if I'm going to put AOS in the WRX. Um, it does smell funky. Um, it might be the oil, because it's been sitting still for so long, so. Um, yeah, there's some oil dripping there from the turbo hose. Uh, let's get it jacked up and yeah, that's all I see here. I mean, I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can replace the holes. Definitely gonna re replace the belt. I have to open. Timing belt up, look inside there. So obviously I'm gonna pull this engine. That is the plan. I'm definitely pulling this engine. Um, but first, obviously, um, I want to get power in it so I can hook up my computer and see what codes it's throwing. Um, so I know what the ECU says is wrong. Um, and then work from there, and then obviously start tearing everything down. Um, I'm going to get a engine hoist this weekend. Um, probably right after, probably the day after Thanksgiving, after Black Friday. Um, 
obviously take off these wipes. The OEM wipes. Get the ones off the Razor X. But yeah, let's uh, let's get her jacked up. All right, guys, I got zoomed out. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take you guys with me on this journey to see what we got going here. Obviously, a lot of oil there from that turbo hole. Inlet hole being open, which is all of that. Um, let's see, he has engine mounts in there. Hmm, interesting. So he already has engine mounts in there. That means they can slap um, my parent ones on the other one that's gonna go on here. I'm trying to see through. Um, I can't see any other leakage besides that I mean that looks bad but there it is that looks bad but that's from that oil uh, the turbo oil hole um, oil pan is severely dented um, unless it's supposed to be like that but I don't think it's supposed to be like that sorry that all right guys I'm back sorry I'm gonna do something real quick. Where were we? Um, oil pan, yeah, oil pan. Pretty sure that dance not supposed to be there. So, try and get uh, can we be oil pan? Um, well, that doesn't look too good now, does it? Oh boy. I'm hoping that's from that same oil. Turbo oil hole. Because I think it's been sitting for like a year or something. So. Um. Let me follow. Where it's coming from. It doesn't seem to go any further than like there. So. Hmm. Hoping that's that same. Turbo hole opening with the oil. Uh, let's see what else. So it's on stock sus suspension. Uh, man, I did not get this clean at all. I tried to wash it before. Ooh, please don't spill on me. Before a guy came. Gosh, what is it with these things just being destroyed? Same thing on my WRX. Hatches love destroying these uh, protectors. Um, he has some really good fire. Well, I guess I do now. Have some really good fire stones. Indy 500s. So, looks like he's still got a lot of trail. On. So, um, he actually had the paperwork in the car for these tires. And he bought them last year, so. Oh, it still should be good. It looks good. All right, transmission time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it looks like oil. Ooh, oh, I see some purple. Oh, is that a twin? I'm pretty sure it's a twin disc clutch in there. Ooh, buddy. This guy has hell of mods on this thing. Yeah, from what I can tell, that is a twin disc clutch. Um, pretty sure this is all oil residue. 